Oh boy, here we are. What up, boys? What up, boys? It's been a while since we've actually streamed a rebuild, so this should be a lot of fun. I mean, I've done the free agency streams. I've done the draft, you know, the draft streams, but we haven't done a free agency rebuild in so long. So, or not free agency, a re or a rebuild in general. So, what up? What up? What up, boys? What up, Clutch? What up, Danny? What up, How to Lego? Love the name. What up, Daniel? Andrew says, "Could you see the Lakers asking for Harris, Curry, and Irving?" I mean, they need to stop being so damn greedy if that's what they're asking for. I mean, you're lucky to get Kyrie Irving, right? For Russell Westbrook, so. Thank you, Cameron. You are too, my friend. <laughs> Would you consider trading or doing KD for Autobio Hero in a future first? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what KD's trade value is, man. Like, Raptors fans were going off on me today in the comment section of today's video, even though I said I didn't agree with the trade. Raptors fans are so passionate, man. I swear you cannot talk about their players. They will come at your neck. Oh my goodness. All right. Ad, wait, what YouTube just said now would be a good time to insert ads. I'm why, what is, why does YouTube say that? I'm not going to put ads on. That'd be stupid. Okay. Um, I think we're on 2k. Yes, we are. All right, boys. So today we are going to doing a live until uh, probably about until the thunder because I do want to watch Chet Holmgren play tonight for uh, for a lot. I really do want to watch that. But then we're going to try to do this rebuild together. So let me turn on my controller and we are here now. So um, I don't know if any of you are here that are asking me about this file. Don't I mean, I really can't help you. 2K share scenarios are broken. I was going to continue to upload my uh, file to 2K share scenarios, but I kept doing that. And it just kept breaking, so um, I'm I don't, I'm I'm just done. I'm done uploading the 2K share scenarios. I downloaded this one and I've been updating my uh, ever since. What up, Adam? Do you watch? How do you watch Summer League? I think they have them on like ESPN2 and maybe NBA TV, uh, but I think it's like regular cable. I don't know if they're gonna have every game on. Uh, let me know if uh, my webcam's too big. Let, let me know if anything's wrong. But all right, boys, I uh, I want to do this trading. So right now. The Nets are currently apparently op Hulu. Yeah, if you have Hulu uh, live, but Hulu has like an extra cable thing. What channel is the Su OKC Thunder Summer League game on? I actually don't know, great boy. So I'm hoping it's actually even on TV. I'm pretty sure it is. I could find out real quick if I wanted to, but um, you know, maybe I should. Should I, should I find out? No, I'll do it later. Uh, what the Thunder game is in about an hour and a half. So I'm, I'm going to watch it. What up, Rahul? What up, Jaden? Okay, so the Nets have signed TJ Warren. They've signed uh, Edmund Summer, but for some reason, Edmund Summer's not in this file. It's not that big of a deal. It's not going to like hurt my feelings that he's not here, but it's so weird that he's not. I don't know why that is the way it is, but he's not on this file. So they signed Edmund Warren. They signed... Oh, that's free agency. Um, so we got... This is what the roster looks like currently on the Brooklyn Nets. So they got Royce O'Neal, of course, for a first-round pick. You have Cameron Thomas, Daron Sharp, Patty Mills was re-signed. And then TJ Warren was a nice addition to this team. It's obviously not for that much money. I need to fix that. That's not how big the contract would be. I'm pretty sure he signed a minimum, to be honest with you. Didn't he sign like a minimum? Uh, but I don't know. I'm going to fix this. So this is kind of how you edit contracts if you didn't know. So uh, some of this, So my file is pretty up to date. I think there's a couple things I need to fix. Like I've never did the Suns who, you know, they traded for that center. I can't remember uh, what his name was. But I think TJ Warren signed up like the minimum. Do you play my team? I do not. I do not. KD to Portland for Eric Bledsoe in the first. Uh, it is actually currently impossible for the Blazers to trade for Kevin Durant. So that dream is dead. So no longer will I be saying Kevin Durant's a Blazer. It's, it's not. They they can't do it right now. If they wait a little bit, maybe. Jo Jake, Jock Londale. Yeah, or Jack Londale. However you say his damn name. I can't even send past player regression about the game crashing. Exactly, Alvin. That's exact same problem that I have all the time. So, yo, W, please stop spamming. I would appreciate it. I don't want to have to, like, time you out, like, this early. What's up? Like, you know, what up, man? Welcome in, but you don't need to spam. You think the 76 will trade Maxi for Kyrie? Well, you have to match some salary there. But, okay. So, let's start with... Because I don't want to... You know, I do want to hang out with you guys, but of course I do. Let's start with the Kyrie Irving trade. Let's start with the Kyrie Irving trade. So... 
I'm gonna let you guys. I'm gonna let. Where should we trade Kyrie Irving? I feel like the obvious place is the Lakers. You don't have crashing problems on uh, PS5. That's a W Legion. I always have crashing problems on Xbox. I don't know what it is. LA. Do we trade Kyrie Irving to the LA Lakers? And then I want to ask you guys as well. Should I? Should I? Well, I might not have to for this one. Lakers. What up, Luca? What up, Veerman? Lakers. Everyone's saying Lakers. So yeah, we're gonna trade Kyrie Irving to the Lakers. Okay, I may not have to use trade override for this one, but do you guys want me to use override for the Kevin Durant trade? Because I'm obviously not gonna get equal value using 2K's trade finder. So I guess it'd be Kyrie Irving for Russell Westbrook, obviously. And then Joe Harris is rumored to be in the trade. And then THT and like a first round pick from the Lakers, something like this. Is this a trade? I mean, this is the trade that's been kind of talked about. Uh, if you guys do you guys want to do this trade? THT Westbrook in a 2027 first round pick. I can't go to 2027, but 2026 will be good enough, I guess. I wish 2K would let you go out farther. Like teams are currently trading 2029 picks, obviously. More picks. No, this is awful. I mean, th this is the trade that's been rumored right now, low key. It's this is. Uh, I agree, it is an awful trade for Kyrie Irving, but it's literally been the trade that's been rumored. So, I I don't know. Curry, not Joe. Terrible. <laughs> You aren't getting any value, bro. I know that's what I'm saying. I'm I'm telling you, I don't think this is a good trade, but this is the trade that's been like rumored and going around right now that the that the Nets are gonna trade Kyrie Irving for the. Well, it sounds like it's not gonna actually happen, but because if it would have happened, it probably would have happened already, right? But maybe eventually, it is an L trade. I I will agree. This is not the greatest trade in the world. So where do we want to trade? I mean, all you guys said trade the Lakers. This is the trade. Don't do it. It's not even gonna happen. Me too, no, uh, me too, Cordell. So I, I don't know. How are we going to get past this part? All right, actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, this is the first time I'm going to do a poll here. Do this trade. Question mark. All right, I'm going to let you guys decide. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done a poll, so I'll see how this goes. All right, I'll let you guys vote. Vote on this. Do this trade. And I'll, you know, whoever, you know, maximum, I'll do it and I won't. We'll figure something else out. Let's see. You guys see the poll, right? Is it there? Oh, yeah, it's working. Okay. 37 votes. 59% saying yes. I'll give it a little bit. Congrats, Drippy. That's that's amazing, man. It's there. Okay, W. Uh, 66 votes. 52. Oh, wait. It's actually closer than I thought. Oh, I can't see the top of the tree. Why? Wait, why can't I see this? Oh, there it goes. There it's showing me now. Oh, 55% are saying no. Okay. It's kind of getting, it's like, it's 50 50, boys. You guys have to help me out. Add three more first. I can't get three. The Lakers can't trade three more first. These picks, I think, belong to the Pelicans. And you can't, like, step and roll. Congrats, great boy. I'm happy for you. 170 subs, W. Out of first. So, 50, dude, it is like neck and neck. <laughs> oh my gosh we'll come back we'll come back let's come back to the Kyrie Irving trade let's come back to the Kyrie Irving trade <laughs> all right Kevin Durant there's so many teams who could trade Kevin Durant to uh so I'm gonna end that poll because that was like neck and neck all right I'm gonna let you guys vote for this one all right where do we trade where do we trade KD. Uh, let's say what Raptors, uh, Suns, obviously. Uh, what other options should we have? Portland cannot get Kevin Durant in real life anymore. It's impossible. So, sorry boys. I mean, I'm a Blazers fan. Yes, I wanted KD, but it's, it can't happen anymore. Celtics are Heat. Uh, so I got Raptors, Suns, and Heat so far. Bro, I'm not putting Warriors in this. I don't want to trade them to the Warriors. Well, I guess we can. I guess we can trade Warriors. Rockets, Durant's Milwaukee. I'll just do these four options. Suns or Heat. My day's been good, George. All right, let's ask you guys. All right, poll is posted. And wherever... All right, so wherever you guys vote is where we're trading them to. So... I just did a poll about Kyrie Irving to the Lakers, and uh, yeah, it was... Uh, okay, so we got Suns, 53. It looks like the Suns are going to lead. So we did trade Kevin Durant to the Raptor. We did a Kevin Durant Raptors rebuild, so... Do you have a Series S or X? I have an X. 
Bucks would be interesting as well, but I didn't put the Bucks in the poll, so I'm not gonna redo it. Suns, it looks like Suns is kind of one in this poll. Raptors, Heat, Warriors. So it looks like we're gonna trade him to Phoenix Suns. All right, so uh, 60 people have voted. We got 168 people. I'll, I'll leave it open for a little bit, but I'm gonna assume the Suns are about to win this. But it sounds like, wait, we can't get DeAndre Ayton on this team, can we? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Mikel Bridges. Wait, because aren't we not supposed... We can't technically have Mikel... Well, I don't even know how this is going to work. Wait, I think I'm going to need trade override for this trade 1,000%, right? Trade override is going to have to be on because I'm not going to get equal value if I don't have it on. So, Kevin Durant for... You guys are saying Suns for sure. So, we got to make some trades, man. We, got, we, haven't, gotten, we haven't gotten anywhere yet. So, uh, Mikel Bridges would have to be in the trade. Well, it's somebody that's been rumored to be in the trade. Uh... All right, 100 people voted, Suns, so I'm in that poll. Okay, Suns win, so we are trading him to the Phoenix Suns. I do not PS5, I have an Xbox. So Suns win, the only way the Nets can trade him to the Suns is for D-Book, which that's impossible now because D-Book's on extension. So, I had to do this, is gonna get complicated. This is gonna get so complicated, but uh, so DeAndre Aiden would have to wait. Is DeAndre Aiden even signed yet? He's not. DeAndre Aiden isn't even signed yet. So let me go through free agency a little bit more. Is Aiden signed yet? Aiden is gone. Where did Aiden go? I'm curious actually now. Did he go back to the Suns? Because if he did, he'll be part of this trade somehow. Aiden went back to Phoenix. Okay, so that's huge. All right, so DeAndre Aiden. Well, that's not that's not what we want. Okay, trade. Okay, I think this is gonna have to be like a three-team trade, honestly. So Kevin Durant for Let's say Mikel Bridges, right? Mikel Bridges would have to be in the trade. DeAndre, or not Devin Booker. He's already been extended, so he can't be in the trade legally. So, uh, picks obviously are going to have to go to the Brooklyn Nets, no doubt. So, I'll throw in like three picks in here. Maybe one more player. Uh, let's say... Who else should be in this trade? Akogi just got signed. That is not his actual salary. I need to fix that, obviously. Landry Shamet maybe in the trade, I guess. Something like well, I'm gonna do I'm gonna make this a three team bro. This is gonna be terrible value though. Unless we traded Ben Simmons. I, I don't know what to do, man. This is so complicated. I thought this is way this is way more complicated than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest with you. Okay, let's just start out with this. We're not gonna make it a three team complicated. Add Houston to the three team trade. I have an idea for a three team trade. Okay, so this, bro, we're not getting good value for Kate. Well, we can get like good value from the third team, I guess. Uh, third team, this is the, this team wants DeAndre Ayton. Okay, let's say for instance, this team wants DeAndre Ayton. Who should be part of this trade for a team that's getting DeAndre Ayton? Make it somewhat realistic as well. Keep Simmons playing the four, teacher Warren just signed the Nets. Yes, Liam, I actually have him on the roster. Pacers. I like I like the Indiana Pacers low key. Actually, let's do that. Let's do Pacers. I like Pacers. Pacers is a great idea. Jazz would low. Oh, Jazz is a good one too. But I think Pacers makes the most sense. I'm gonna go put Mouser in this trade. Okay. Um, this is gonna get complicated, but we're gonna make it. Whoa. This actually. Wait. So we're the Nets. Okay. So I think we deserve Miles Turner then. So KD, and then he goes to Indiana. Okay, so Brooklyn would be getting Mikel Bridges, three first round picks, Miles Turner, and then this, and then we get, oh wait, and then the Suns get DeAndre Aiden. This is, or Pacers get DeAndre Aiden, I should say. Why did I say Suns get DeAndre Aiden? I'm an idiot. Uh, okay, what else can we throw in this trade from the Pacers? Anything else that might be worth value? Oh, Buddy Heald could be a good piece in this trade as well. Crush Aiden to Utah, Mitchell to Brooklyn, but I don't see why the Jazz would want Aiden if they're trading Mitchell. They might as well just bought him out, right? So, all right, I'm gonna try to make this work as best as possible. So let's say, then I, I mean, okay, I like Aiden going to the Pacers. Mikel Bridges to the Nets, I think makes a lot of sense. Miles Turner makes a lot of sense if we're trying to stay competitive, and then. Buddy Heal doesn't make the money work. Uh, the Suns would require two million more, so they have to send one more player out. I wish I could make this like a four-team trade, put like Jay Crowder in the trade or something. Uh, but the, the Suns are going to be without a center after they do this trade, by the way. But I don't even care about the Suns' point of view right now. Let's say... Um, no, Damian Lee was just signed. Sarich, I guess, was headed to... Okay. Does this trade make sense? So we trade Kevin Durant for Mikel Bridges, three first-round picks, and Miles Turner. And then DeAndre Aiden and Dario Sarich head to Indiana. And then... 
We also get, or the, I guess the Suns also get Buddy Heald out of it. You like this? I mean, get more picks. Wait, so the Pacers, okay, let me think about this. I think I like this for the most part. It's not, obviously this is really overwhelming. So it's not the best trade. I'll make more picks go to the Nets, okay. I can't get more picks to go in this trade though. So Mikel Bridge, Miles Turner, and then three first round picks. I like that for the most part. Maybe a little bit more could be in here. And then the the Pacers are trading Mouser and Buddy Heald for DeAndre and Dario Sarge, which isn't bad. I actually kind of like that. Maybe we throw in one first going to the Nets or something like this. Oh, we'll, we'll do this. We'll do this. We got it. We got to get it going. We got to get it going. We're going to be sitting here all day. We're going to get Cam Johnson of Brooklyn. Ooh, that's actually, wait, is Cam Johnson here? That's actually, dude, that's, that's a piece I was forgetting about actually. Cameron Johnson. Where's he at? Wait. Where's Cameron Johnson? Maybe he's not signed yet. Wait, I don't want to back out. I got to fight. Wait, okay. Let me do this. And if Cameron Johnson's out there, I'm going to do this trade. So I had him going to the Pacers, right? Or the net. Oh, actually let's do this. Let's have him go to Brooklyn. And then I'm going to replace this with Cameron Johnson. If I can find him. So I think that makes a little bit. That's who I was missing. So he must be a free agent. Okay. I don't, I don't think Cameron Johnson's a free agent in real life though. So we're doing this trade. I'm obviously overriding it. Three. Yep. Three team trade. And just like that, that is going to happen. Okay, Cameron Johnson. If he's not in this file, I'm actually going to be pissed because I don't know why he wouldn't be here. Johnson. He is here. Okay, he is a free agent. He is a free agent. Okay. Um, hopefully, the Suns get him back, and I'm replacing Sarge with Cameron Johnson. So, let's see where Johnson is. He has no offers right now. Um, well, I mean, I kind of want to have free agency. So, is he still out here? He is. Yo, Suns, can you just sign him real quick so I can have... Well, we'll, we'll replace Sarge with Cameron Johnson. We'll play Sarge with Cameron Johnson. We'll play Sarge with Cameron Johnson. So, sorry, I wasn't looking at chat if you guys were talking about Cameron Johnson. That's who I was missing. Okay, so now you kind of have an interesting team of like Ben Simmons, Miles Turner, Mikel Bridges, and then Cameron Johnson when he gets over here. So Ben Simmons, I'll move him to the four and have him play like maybe small forward as well. Maybe back of position, small forward. I kind of like this so far. So Ben Simmons, Miles Turner, and then obviously Kyrie Irving still need to be traded, and then Mikel Bridges. Yeah, this is not a bad looking roster so far. That was an interesting trade. Uh, I want to keep free agency open. So, all right, I need the Suns to sign Cameron Johnson. I'm actually going to make them sign him real quick. That way, well, I got to wait, actually. All right, let's just move on to Kyrie Irving trade. Then I'll play Sarge with Cameron Johnson. Okay, Kyrie Irving trade. Going back to Kyrie Irving. It's going back to the Kyrie Irving trade. Kyrie to LA next. We tried this and 50% 50, 50 of people said not to trade Kyrie to the Lakers. Which I tend to agree with because why would we want Russell Westbrook and Ben Simmons on the same team? You know what I mean? Unless we made another three-team trade, which I guess we could do. It's not... This is... Okay, this is going to be complicated, but I'm going to try to do a three-team trade with the Lakers and Nets. Okay, back to three... Why do I keep clicking player finder? I'm such an idiot. I'm trying to go to proposed trade. Okay, there we go. Kyrie Irving back in the trade, and then we're going to put Russell Westbrook in the trade, and then Taylor Hort Tucker, first round pick in 2026. Something like this. And then a third team who gets Russell Westbrook. What team should get Russell Westbrook? Hornets? Russ to the Hornets? Ooh, okay. Russ to Charlotte. That's been kind of the rumor. You guys are saying Hornets? Charlotte. Spurs. Trade Kyrie to Dallas. You guys send Hornets, Cavs. I don't want to put Russell Westbrook in the Cavs. I feel like that don't make any sense. But the Hornets have shown interest in Russell Westbrook. How do I make this work, though? Um, This is going to get complicated. Okay, so we're not taking Westbrook back. So what do we want? Okay, so we got to think about what the Nets would want. We're going to get THT in 2026 for Kyrie. But what other piece do we want? You guys are saying Hornets, but what should we want from the Hornets? Because technically, what we're this is what we're getting in return for Kyrie Irving right here. What 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 does Charlotte have to offer that we should want? Bucks, three team trade. Gordon Hayward. Do I really want Gordon Hayward on the Nets though? Rozier, Utah. Wait, we could trade Utah to. We could trade Russell Westbrook to Utah. I guess we could technically do that. PJ and Gordon. How's Harden at 85? Uh, this file is not perfect. Uh, maybe I should fix that, but I mean, that's what it was. PJ Washington, Terry and PJ, Kyrie to the Mavs. Uh, all right, so Terry and PJ, it's not a terrible idea, I guess. So Terry Rozier and PJ Washington. 
to Brooklyn. And then Russell Westbrook to the Hornets. The Hornets would acquire 12 more million than allowed. Kelly, ooh, well, I guess the Hornets are getting off money, so that's what they're trying to. Well, they were gonna do this to, you know, pay Mikel Bridges or Miles Bridges, but obviously that's not gonna happen anymore. Okay, the Lakers could get. No, we're not doing that. Uh, that would be too much money. I don't think we can make this work with the Hornets, bro. I really don't. I don't think that we can. Denver, bro. I don't know where to send Westbrook. I guess we could technically send him to Utah. They want off Gordon. Yeah, I know, but I don't know why we'd want... Well, unless if uh, the Hornets were giving me a bunch of first-round picks to take on Gordon Hayward, I guess. That's the only other way that makes sense for me, in my opinion. We'd acquire too much money. Oh, wait. Got him fixed. Okay. We could do this trade where we get Gordon Hayward, and then we want... If we're taking on Gordon Hayward's contract, we want picks then. That's what I'm thinking. 2025 and can I get like 2020? I can't go far to 2027. Okay, what about this then? Something like this. Something like this? I don't know. It's not easy, boys. We get picks for taking on Gordon Hayward's contract. We don't have to take on West for Russell Westbrook. We get three picks for Kyrie Irving. That I don't know. Is that that's might be getting a little too much, low key? Or should we maybe send one to the Hornets? Maybe send one to the Charlotte Hornets. That's my controller. My clicking noise, sorry. Hornets lost. Send one pick to the Hornets. Charlotte Hornets give one pick. W. Trade Kyrie to Dallas, please. I don't think the Dallas Mavericks have anything I would want, though. Do, should they? Just run it. I, bro, we got to go. I'm sorry. I know some of you may not agree with this trade, but we got to run this. We, we've been sitting here too long, so... This is the final product. So yes, that was complicated, I know. But now we have a team here in Brooklyn, which obviously this is not gonna happen. This is not what it's gonna look like in real life whatsoever. Kenny Chandler has agreed to his four-year deal with the Memphis Grizzlies. That's cool. So Ben Simmons, Mikel Bridges, Miles Turner, Gordon Hayward, because we took on his money. Seth Curry, Clax, and TJ Warren, Joe Harris, Sarge, THT. Wait, I meant to throw Joe Harris in that. Well, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Dario Stars, THT, and then, oh, I need to fix, uh, wait, so let me look at my roster right now. So, no point guard right now. Seth Curry, Cameron Thomas, I like. A lot of wings right now. A lot, actually. Ooh, that's a, that's a kind of a, so I do want to put, I want, again, I want to move Cameron Johnson, uh, for Sarge. So, okay, I'm going to get past free agency, and then, again, like I said already, we are going to replace Cameron Johnson with, um, uh, or Cameron Johnson and Sarge because that's what I wanted it to originally be but Johnson was not there so let's get TJ or Sarge let's replace that with Cameron Johnson hopefully he went back to the Phoenix Suns and then that should be our final roster so Cameron Johnson did not go to the Suns okay where did he go is he still a free agent that's gonna make everything complicated if he's a free agent Johnson if I can spell Johnson Cameron Johnson still has not signed. Oh, wait, can I sign him? Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll just send Sarge back to uh, the Nets then, or to the Suns. I don't need Dario Sarge. Okay, we just signed. That was easier said than done. Okay, I'll just trade Sarge back to the Suns and then done deal, boys. That was complicated, but it is done. So yeah, not easy. I'll just take, oh, wait. Wait, okay, hold on. I got to turn off financial. Dude, this is so complicated. Holy moly. We're about to get there, boys. I know we've been... I got to turn this off real quick, and then we'll turn it back on. And then Sarge is headed to the Suns, or headed back to the Suns, and let's take a second from them. Late second. Boom. Okay. All right, boys. Now we are set. Now we are set. So, uh, and boom. Okay. All right, boys. How long am I streaming for? I'm going to stream until the Thunder game at 8. So for about another hour-ish, uh, hopefully. I'm going to hang out with y'all for a little bit. So this is what our roster looks like. You have no point guard right now. You have Seth Curry, Cameron Thomas, David Duke Jr., and Patty Mills. You have Mikel Bridges, Gordon Hayward, THT, TJ... Holy crap, we have a lot. A lot going on here. Ben Simmons, Cameron Johnson, and then Claxton and Miles Turner, and then De'Aaron Sharp. I think we clearly moved Ben Simmons to point guard this year because there's really no one else to move there. So Ben Simmons will play point guard this year because there's really nothing. I'll move it eventually. And then power forward wise, do we move like TJ Warren to power forward? 
one of them has to move to power forward uh Bo Cruz Gordon Hayward I could move to power forward or I could move TJ Warren I mean I guess I can move Gordon Hayward uh let's just move TJ Warren to the floor I guess TJ Warren to play power forward and it'll be camera okay so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine like technically I want to uh, let's trade Joe Harris I meant to trade Joe Harris and I didn't so let me trade Joe Harris as well because there's really not a spot for him on the roster I meant to put him in that trade but I didn't that was my mistake um terry taylor and hinton i meant to put joe harris in that trade but i totally forgot to oh just just simply dump him off i guess i mean obviously the pacers wouldn't accept this but just for time's sake i'm just gonna go ahead and make that trade okay so this is what our team's gonna look like going to season number one trade joe harris to the bucks get d low why do we want d low Royce, Royce O'Neal to power forward. We might move him there as well. All right. So our rotation is about to look pretty interesting, to be honest with you, after those two trades we made. That was kind of a complicated process, not going to lie. But it is done. So, wow, they want to start. Wait, what? Terry Taylor at power forward. No, we're not doing that. When I got Terry Taylor, that's cool and all, but I don't really want him to start. Wait, I don't want to move his position, though. I, I don't want Terry Taylor to be a starter. No, that's not. That's okay. Will, the, will this be a vid or just a stream? I'm just streaming this one. If this was a vid, I would be obviously using my own opinion, but I'm trying to use your guys' opinion as much as possible. So uh, this is just a chill back, relax kind of stream and hang out with y'all. All right, so Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Gordon Hayward. I want to start... Wait, what is our proficiency at? Maybe that's why this is doing what it is. Primer centric. I don't want Gordon Hayward to start either. I want Mikel Bridges to be the starter. So yeah, something like that. We're not going to keep Gordon Hayward long-term anyway. 10 man rotation and then Gordon Hayward from Mikel Bridges. I mean, trade deadline's gotta be big for us. We have a lot of set. We could still sell a lot of pieces. We're not even we don't have Royce O'Neal in the rotation, but it's just such a log jam at this point. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna run. We're gonna run this. We are gonna stop at the trade deadline though for sure and definitely make some moves. Uh shot tendencies I want to take a peek at because there's really no clear number one option here right now. Make Cam six man. Uh let's move. I guess we can move Simmons shot tendency a little bit higher. Mikel Bridges maybe a little bit higher, but we have literally no number one option at the moment, actually. So that's something that should be our next point of emphasis. Bro, we have like no bona fide star right now. Ben Simmons is the closest thing to that, and that's kind of troublesome. So yeah, it's going to be kind of just a bleh to start things off. Turn Simmons up to... All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's run it. We'll start with the trade deadline. Let's see if this team's even good. Let's see if this team's even good after we did all that. Seth Curry, number one option. Might have to make it number one option, bro, to be honest with you. All right. Now I can read chat a little bit. We are not doing good so far. What's your opinion on MJ being the 2K cover? W. It's uh, 2K23, so I like it. I do like the idea. Trade Simmons to the Jazz for Mitchell. Seth Curry, number one option, right? So Ben can miss. Yeah, Ben's low key. Yeah, we're, we're pretty tank. We're tanking right now. We're, we are currently... I know my webcam's in the way, but we are the 13th seed right now, so... Things are not going so well right now. What videos do you have planned? Uh, I'm just kind of going with the flow at the moment. I think tomorrow, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do yet. Not even sure what I'm going to do. Uh, some of you guys were commenting for me to do a Shade and Sharp Blazers rebuild uh, for this stream. I really thought about it, but since Brooklyn's kind of the talk of the town, I decided to just do them. So we'll, we'll see. Right now we're tanking pretty heavily. We can't even draft that Victor kid because you know why? We don't even have our own draft picks, which is why we were trying to stay competitive. Uh, but obviously this isn't working out so far. I mean, we have some good pieces, some good pieces, but we don't have a clear number one option yet. So we need to draft. We need to get assets here at the trade deadline. That's going to be the game plan. Collect some assets because that is what we're going to need to do. So we're going to stop at the trade deadline and we're going to try to collect some first round picks here or just something. So, um, who should we be looking to trade? I like, okay. So I think I want to keep Ben Simmons safe. I want to keep Miles Turner safe and I want to keep Mikel Bridges safe. I mean, defensively. That's already really freaking good. So I like that a lot. Gordon Hayward, I would love to move on from, but I might have to wait till the offseason to do that. Player stats, Simmons is leading the way, but again, we need a number one option. Simmons is not that guy. He just isn't. There's some good pieces here. There really is. Seth Curry, I think, is somebody we should be looking to get a pick for, though. He's an expiring contract. Is this your first rebuild live stream? No, I've done it in the past. I haven't done one in a while, uh, but I have done a rebuild live stream in the past. You get Vanderbilt in an exception. I'm looking for picks, though. I'm looking to stack up on draft picks here. Chris Boucher, Jermichael Green, and a second. 
first round pick and Torian Prince. I think we do this trade. Gary Payton. I think we do that trade. Yeah, we're going to trade Seth Curry for Torian Prince in a first. We're looking for draft capital to make a big trade in the offseason. So W first trade. We trade away Seth Curry. Anybody else who's expiring? I want to resign Miles Turner. Do we trade TJ Warren right now? I think we do. I think we take advantage of TJ Warren's, uh, you know, value right now and try to get a pick for him as well. First round pick from the Grizzlies. I already like that trade. I already like that trade. First round pick in Aaron Holiday. So we're just trying to, we're just kind of selling right now and getting a, a draft capital to make a big trade. The Pelicans, 2025 first round pick. This is from Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and make that. We'll do that trade. So I'm going to trade TJ Warren, get a draft pick for him as well. So we are selling, like I said, at the moment. Uh, Cameron Thomas, I like him being here long term. I'm going to trade Gordon Hayward in the offseason. I'm going to use his money in the offseason to make a trade. Who's your favorite player, Anty? My favorite player is Damian Lillard. My favorite team, obviously the Blazers. I think I'm done, though. I think I'm done. I want to use all these assets in the offseason. We got quite a bit of draft capital. So, yeah, I'm ready to run it. So, I'm going to let you guys vote in the offseason. I guess we got to fix this. Holy moly, we got a lot. Okay, let me fix the rotation. So, Gordon Hayward, I still don't want to start. I'm going to use his expiring sour in the offseason to get a, uh, get a good player, though. Uh, we'll just run it like that. And then um, Cameron Thomas gets to start. So, I I'm loving how this is going so far, boys. This is going pretty well. Drop a like on the stream, boys, if uh, you haven't already as well. This has been going good. Who's your favorite NFL team? Uh, Washington Commanders. Uh, which AD, THT, and Westbrook and two first round picks for KD. Uh, I don't think that's a good... Well, I mean, include Anthony Davis, but I don't know. We'll see. What do you think of Steph Curry being a 99 overall in 2K23? I don't hate it. I do not hate it. I definitely do not hate that at all. All right. Um, actually, we finished as a play-in team, so kind of a W. Kind of a W, but I'm going to let you guys vote for what superstar we trade for this offseason. So MVP, Luka. Rookie of the year goes to Chad Holmgren. Can't wait to watch him tonight. Harden, six man. Giannis defensive player. Halliburton, most improved. And Willie Green, coach of the year. Alexander Panel is your executive. So I'll be first team, Luka, LaMelo, Giannis, Durant, Jokic. I'll be second team, John Morant, Simmons, Tatum, Embiid, LeBron. I'll be third team. And we actually got into the play-in tournament. So that's just kind of a nice step for sure. Player stats wise, we had... 21 from Simmons. Obviously looking to change that. But defensively, bro, we're low-key kind of locked down. Well, we have some good pieces. I wouldn't say locked down. But some good pieces. Wait, 2K wait, 2K23 rating got leaked? I think there were at least like three overalls. Trade for Donovan Mitchell? Bro, that might... Well, I don't think... Wait, can we get Donovan Mitchell? I feel like Ben Simmons' rookie extension doesn't allow that. We'll see. We'll see. Let's, uh, let's focus on this. Do we beat the Pacers? We do. We beat the Pacers. So we are actually have a chance to get in the playoffs here. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, because obviously the Rockets have all of our picks. So, um, I feel like we're better than the Wizards. Maybe not. We'll see. I guess we'll kind of figure out and see if we are. We have so many assets, though, that I think we're going to be able to make a quick turnaround, for sure. But getting to the playoffs, though, would be kind of nice, if we do, after, especially after doing all that. And... Bro, we lost the Wizards. Damn. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so, the Rockets are going to get our pick. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. How are the Suns and the Lakers? What do you mean, how are they? They're pretty good. Best 2K streamer. Thank you so much. Pelicans going to win the championship. All right, boys. Draft lottery time. This is going to be very, very important step. LeBron James retires? Whoa, that's big if he does actually retire. I'll leave that all the way it is. So LeBron James being gone. Cam Thomas needs more minutes. I actually, uh, he was starting this year. Let's go look at the stats for you guys. Uh, Cameron Thomas was starting after I traded Seth Curry. He averaged 13 for us. So I like him as a piece going forward. The sh three point shot wasn't great. We definitely need some better spacing for sure. What up, Anthony? Why are the Trailblazers your favorite team? Uh, Superman, unfortunately, I would explain that right now, but it's just, it's a super long story. So I don't really want to explain it right now when I'm trying to do this. Uh, I basically, they were like the first team I watched on TV. My dad was a Blazers fan, basically, to summarize it up. So first game I ever watched the Blazers, I've said I wasn't going to explain it. First game I ever watched was Blazers versus Rockets when they had like Wesley Matthews like back then for some reason. All right, so the Suns did not make the playoffs, and the Rockets get our pick, right? So it's not going to really matter. Why not the Thunder? Uh, I like the Thunder, too. We do get the 14th overall picks. We have our own lottery pick. This might be a pick swap. Oh, this is a pick swap. So the Rockets got the 14th overall pick. Ben Simmons, 27% improvement. Hey, we'll take that, right? You think the Pelicans are going to be good in 2K23? I mean, they do have a good roster. I'm hoping they're not as overpowered, though, man. That's been kind of a problem. 
Uh, so far, Pacers get number 12, 11. Apparently, you live near OKC, right? I do. I live in Kansas. So I'm not. I'm like two hours away from Oklahoma City or a little bit farther than that. Try and trade up a little. You think I should trade up? Maybe. We can maybe do that. Let's see how lucky we get in the lottery because I think we are getting... Wait, didn't don't we get... Oh, I punched my mic. Sorry about that. Uh, Kings get number nine. So I'm hoping we get some lottery rock because I think we have the Suns pick here. So we might be able to jump up in the top five. Do you like Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, he's a freaking stud, man. Crush, you should trade for Giannis. I mean, if that was possible. So I think the Rockets... Yeah, so the Rockets get that pick. So our pick was seven. Uh, this might be our pick right here, low key boys. And it's not. So that means we're in the top four. Uh oh. Top four pick from that Kevin Durant trade. Wait, dude, if we get number one, that's a game changer, actually. Bro, if we get the number one pick, this could be a game changer. Rockets have all the Nets pick until 2027. Yeah, I know the Rockets. Bro, we are top three. Wait, we can draft Scooter Henderson, maybe. Bro, if we get number one. Oh my goodness, this would be freaking awesome. Please, you know, get number one, get number one, get number one. Not, don't be three, don't be three. Let, bro, bro, we might get number one here. No freaking way we're gonna get number one. Please, 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 please be number one. Bro, please. No, we got number two, damn, okay. Who got number one? So that Suns pick from the Kevin Durant trade, the Spurs got number one. So their tank for Victor Webb and Yama worked out for the Spurs at least here on 2K. So we get a number two overall pick. So we get to trade or we get to draft scooter henderson i guess i mean that's pretty cool knicks have three picks in a row so we have two and 14. San Antonio, San antonio plan worked trade up everyone's telling me to trade up i think everyone's going to tell me to trade up in this scenario uh do we get a different head coach tyron low stoffer jeff horner second i'll just get steve nash back steve nash we'll just sign you back and then post d coach fill this out real quick don't want to make this too terribly long bro this is low-key a w that we freaking traded or we got we uh, got number two. I guess we're full. We can't sign anybody else. All right, to the draft we go. Big trades. Okay, everyone's telling me to trade up. All right, we'll trade up. I don't think... Realistically, though, Crush, who are who is Oklahoma City playing today? Ah, uh, gosh. Who are they playing? Oh, they're playing the Jazz. They're playing the Jazz. So is Walker Kessler playing tonight, too, after that trade? Okay, everyone's telling me to trade up. I'll trade up. So we're going to get Victor Webb and Yama here. Wait, does that make Miles Turner a little bit more expendable? All right, so it's the Spurs have the number one overall pick. I don't want to invest too much capital because I still want to trade for a superstar. So like two and 14. And then uh, do I have anything else worth value? I have Claxton. I mean, if we're going to get Webb and Yama, maybe we could just trade Claxton. And then maybe like oh, we have so many picks. Let's maybe this Timberwolves pick. Maybe just do this without. Let's say we did this. Okay, we traded up. So get the number one overall pick. So the number one overall pick. Okay. I guess we'll wait. Wait. Do I want to make... Okay, boys. Do I make the superstar trade now? So we're guaranteed Webb and Yama. Now we need a point guard. I think we need to trade for a point guard or a guard. I guess a guard in general. What guard do we go for, boys, to put on this team? I'm going to let you guys decide. Maybe I'll do a poll, actually. Maybe let me look around the league for guards we should go for. Via trade, I should say, at least. Bradley Beal is an interesting option. Damian Lillard, I guess, is an interesting option. If the boy, if he ever wanted out of uh, Portland, I guess. Uh, I don't want to play Ben Simmons, so Sexton, Jordan Poole, Donovan Mitchell, Fox. I do plan on doing another Kings rebuild soon. That's something I do need to do. Shea, Jordan Poole, Fox. Let me do a poll. Let me do a poll. Let me do a poll. SGA. I like Claxton, D'Lo. Bolts, SGA. A lot of people are saying SGA. All right, let me do a poll real quick. All right, I'm talking about star because we have a lot of capital. I'm not talking about like media, not media. I want to say mediocre, but I'm not talking about like guys that are going to be easy to get. So let's throw, you guys were saying Shea. We'll throw Shea in this trade, I guess. We'll put, oh, and then we'll put Mitchell in this trade as well. Donovan Mitchell, Shea Mitchell. Uh, uh, I mean, I kind of want to have the player be a little bit younger, so maybe we won't do that. Zach Levine, I guess, could be interesting. Ja Trey Young, I mean, that would probably be kind of tough to pull off. 
Uh, maybe we just or Fox. We'll do Fox as well. Fox, Lillard, Clay, Lonzo, Fox. I guess we can throw Lillard in here. And that's it. Okay, that's it. That's the four I can fit in. So we're gonna ask this. All right, here's a poll. Four players that we could go for. I'm gonna let you guys pick. What star guard do we go for, boys? I'm gonna let you guys decide. This is a big moment here. Make sure you guys choose correctly. Who should we be going after to pair alongside Victor Webb and Yama and uh, Ben Simmons and all other kinds of stuff? Shea is leading the way so far. SGA. Garland or SGA? Uh, I didn't put Garland in the poll. I, I like Cleveland keeping him. I also like the Thunder keeping Shea, though, low key. So it looks like Shea is going to win this one by a landslide, though. So. What are the Thunder currently doing right now? They are uh, rebuilding. Oh, so Shea might be easy to pull off, actually. All right, so let's try to make this happen. The Thunder give me Shea Gills Alexander because I'm assuming Shea wins this poll. I'll give it a little bit of time, but he's so far leading the way. Put Garland on there. Please, bro, Garland. Bro, there's a few people telling me Garland, man. Garland from the Cavaliers. Wait, oh, I didn't put it. I didn't give him his extension. Oh, I need to fix that, too. He's a free agent right now. That's an L on my part, boys. I need to fix that. You know what? You guys just remind me that I need to put Garland's extension on this file, and I didn't do that. So I think we're stuck getting Shea, unfortunately. Uh, but next time, next time, we, we can... Cavs would keep Garland. All right, I'm going to end poll. We're going to go for Shea. So Shea is going to be the new guard here in Brooklyn. So Shea is the target. Uh, my webcam is kind of big right now. Is it too big, boys? Let me know if the webcam is too big. I don't know. You guys could see it, though. I guess when I was doing a three-team trade, it was probably in the way. Uh, we're going for Shea. I know there are some other options, but we're going for Shea. So, Gordon Hayward's expiring contract. Uh, let's say Claxton. Uh, not the number one overall pick. Let's say we just threw in every pick possible to get Shea. 2026, 2027, our own pick. And then, like, this Rockets pick. Gordon Hayward, Claxton, and four draft picks for Shea Gills Alexander. Offer it up, and we get Shea. So Shea is our brand new guard here in Brooklyn. So now we're going to have a very, very good roster. I'm going to move Ben Simmons to power forward now. Move him back to the four, because I like him there. And then we get to draft Victor Webb and Yama. Bro, this is kind of crazy. This is going well right now. All right, so we're going to draft now. So we got the number one overall pick. Let's get it. Number one, we are drafting none other than Victor Webb and Yama to add to the Brooklyn Nets. And then we had a second round pick, I believe. So... We are going to be grabbing Trace Jackson Davis. Sure. Welcome. Or do we need... We just traded our backup center. Uh, maybe... I uh, don't matter too much. Okay. Yo, Simon's back to Philly from... Yo, Joe Mama, please stop spamming, please. Uh, I don't want to have to time you out, but if you're going to just keep spamming that, I'm going to have to. And I don't want to. I really don't. It's just spamming just isn't fun. And if you, if you type it one more time, I'm going to do it. Yep. All right. You're gone. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do it, bro. I'm sorry Are you done? I, I won't do it if you're done. Okay, he's done. All right, Joe I won't do anything. Please don't spam though. It, it just ruins the experience for a lot of people No worries. No worries, man. No worries. No worries. I'm not gonna be too upset I'm not gonna be too upset All good. All good. All good. All right, so we got Victor Webb and Yama and Trace Jackson Davis player options We got THT declining Royce O'Neal, I think I'm going to decline. Actually, we traded a first round pick for Royce O'Neal. Let me accept that, actually. Qualifying offers David Duke. Cameron Johnson, definitely want him back. All right, free agency. Uh, here we go. So this is what our team looks like now in Brooklyn. So we have Shea. We have Cameron Thomas. We have Mikel Bridges, Royce O'Neal. I'm actually glad I kept O'Neal now. We have Simmons, Torian Prince, Terry Taylor, Trace Jackson Davis. And we have Victor, Webb and Victor Webinyama and Dayron Sharp. Okay, so I like Sharp as my backup center. Uh, Torian Prince is a fine backup power forward. But we're going to get Cameron Johnson back. And then these two are just probably not going to be part of the rotation too much. Russell Neal will be our backup small forward. Do we keep Cameron Thomas? I'm going to go after Jimmy Butler. Cam Thomas should start. Okay, we'll keep Cameron Thomas the starter. Uh, what free agents do we have to worry about? I think Miles Turner is a free agent. I don't think I lose Miles Turner for nothing. So we obviously got Webb and Yama. So Miles Turner kind of makes it awkward here. I feel like you should probably just sign and trade him then. THT will probably bring back. 
Maybe run THD at the two. What do we do with Miles Turner? Sign and trade him? Get Jimmy Butler. I don't think Butler makes sense, Curry, unfortunately. Get Ja. That'd be kind of crazy. That'd be kind of crazy, low key. Let him walk. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sign and trade him. I'll sign and trade him. THT, I do want back. And then Miles Turner, I'm going to sign and trade. So THT, I'm going to bring back. Miles Turner, I'm going to sign and trade. Even though that word's thrown out too much. But I did obviously get uh, Victor Webb and Yama. So Miles Turner doesn't really fit here anymore. So let me get some draft picks for a Mr. Miles Turner. Or even a good player out of it, I guess. Wait, should we? I mean, I want to start Cameron Thomas, though, I think. Clint Capel in a second. Uh, first round pick, Rozier. Walker Kelson are first from the Jazz. I mean, I guess if the Jazz are trying to get good, we could do that. Mitch Robinson, Isaac Dorian Finney-Smith. I wouldn't mind a backup guard. Thomas Bryant, Chris Paul in a first. I'm not going to do that. Uh, maybe just do that. Uh, let's just do this trade. Dor not Dorian Finney-Smith, but this one. I'm going to do this one. I'm just going to get a first round pick and Walker Kelson for Miles Turner. All right. So now we have Shea, Cameron Thomas. THT, Mikael Bridges, Cameron Johnson will be back. And then we need a backup guard and we should be golden. So backup guard, Dennis Smith Jr. Or we have like Beverly, Will Barton, Skylar Mays. Or maybe just run THT as the backup shooting guard instead. He's going to go down quite a bit, but that's okay. So Shea and then Royce O'Neal. And Cameron Johnson comes back and everything is beautiful. And then David Duke might come back as well. So maybe he's the backup guard instead. Let's go, baby. Yo, Joe, it's all good, man. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't even sweat it anymore. Evan Fournier? That wouldn't be a bad player, but I kind of like my roster as it is. Cameron Johnson is back. David Duke is back. So maybe... So Shea, Ben Simmons, Victor Webb, and Yama. Cameron Thomas, Mikael Bridges, THT, Dayron Sharp, Prince, Cameron Johnson, Russell Neal. Yeah, I, I'm in love. I love this roster. You, we've done a great job, boys. You guys have done a fantastic job. You guys have done a fantastic are you guys talking about cast base or cat just like someone's lying type stuff what's going on what, what is cat what are you guys saying cap oh someone is saying oh he's saying oh yo hey zeus can you stop lying kevin Durant to the lakers is official obviously that's not true at all so that's what you guys are talking about i wasn't reading that sorry my bad i missed that Get Joe Ingles on this team. Bro, I love this roster. Actually, we've done a great job. I'll give you guys credit too, obviously. You guys had a huge say in this as well. Uh, I'm going to run a nine rotation this year though. And I'm going to run my nine best players. Proficiency, we are sitting at a three and a half perimeter centric. We could be nowhere. We cannot be a four star. I'm surprised. Get Josh Giddy. All right, shot tendencies. Uh, I want to put Shea up really high. Simmons. Webb and Yama, of course, I want to be a stud. Cameron Thomas is a 99, and honestly, it might be a little high, but I'm not opposed to it. And Mikael Bridges will boost up. So, yeah, I like that. We're going to go ahead and simulate the season. Hopefully, the defense is kind of crazy, bro. Shea, Cameron, I don't know how good of a defender Cameron Thomas is, not going to lie, but Mikael, Simmons, Webb, and Yama, that's a defensive front court. You guys have done a fantastic job, bro. We did some crazy trades in this video. Uh, it's been fun. So far, we're 0-3, though, so... We'll see if 2K decides to turn the ship around. So far, things are okay. What up, boys? What up? What up? Your thoughts on the Jalen Brunson contract? I thought it was a little bit of an overpay, but the more I think about it, the more the cast base is going to go up. So maybe it won't even hurt the Knicks that much. Crush just got signed by the Blazers, man. I wish. I mean, but they're not going to need my help. They need some size. And I'm like 5'10", so they don't need me. They need some size. So I'm the opposite of what they should be signing. I wanted them to get Isaiah Roby, but they decided not to. I don't know if the Blazers are going to make another move. I don't think so. I mean, what do the Knicks got to lose? That's true. What do they have to lose? Really nothing. Went straight. Yeah, we're, we're on one. Predict NBA MVP. All right, Lil Roxy. You wanted my attention so bad. You got it. All right, man. You got my attention. There you go, bud. Giannis onto the Kumpo. Giannis is hard to trade for in this game without obviously cheating, like trade overriding and stuff. 
What's it, your thoughts on Dang to the Thunder? Uh, Ujman Dang? I don't know much about him. I'm excited. Is he playing tonight? If he is, I'm excited to watch him. That's what I'm kind of excited about, watching Chet and Ujman Dang. Uh, Little Roxy was... Okay, first he was saying that I was trash, so I just ignored him like three times, and then he started saying the N-word, so yeah, I just banned him. So, I, I don't know what his problem is, but... Yeah, he's out. He's out. I don't know what I did wrong. So, I guess I'm trash. Knicks gonna get Ivy. They just and just quit on the draft. What time does the game start tonight? It actually starts in like 40 minutes. So, I won't be streaming for too much longer. I just want to do a little stream with you guys. It's been fun. So we got the second seed in the East. Y'all think Pool is better than Hero? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Well, I mean, it just kind of depends who you ask. I bet that's kind of opinion based. I would say. You know who should get Jokic? Uh, Jokic just on extension. Yo, Sonny, uh, we ain't worried about him. I I don't know I don't know why he he I was ignoring him, and then I just uh, and then he kept saying some weird stuff, so I had to ban him. <laughs> Unfortunately, Luca wins MVP. Victor wins Rookie of the Year. You guys wanted him, we got him, we got him. And then Drummond, six man, Giannis defensive player, Paulo Boncaro most approved, Steve Kerr coach of the year, Nathan Mack executive, and that is it. All NBA first team, Luka, LaMelo, Jason Tatum, Giannis, Jokic. All NBA second team, Steph, Trey Young, Zion, Durant on the Suns. We need to keep tabs on uh, the Suns, by the way. How do the Suns do? I, I actually curious. So, Suns are bad, it looks like. I mean, we took their center. Bro, they went 19-63 and 63 with Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. What was their record last year? Doesn't it show me their record last year as well? Bro, the Suns were poverty. Team comparison, shot chart, current year, overview. Last season went 33 and 49. Wow. Kevin Durant on the Suns is not a W. You should do these streams more often. I definitely plan on it. It's been fun. It's been fun. I'm having a lot of fun with you guys. So, yeah, definitely bank on these happening at least once a week. For sure. For sure, probably do this once a week. Okay, we're in the playoffs though. So, second seed in the East with this brand new team. Player stats, we had 24 from Shea, 17 from Cameron Thomas, 16 from Ben Simmons, 14 from THT, 13 from Victor Webanyama, 12 from Mikael Bridges, 8 from Dayron Sharp, 7 from Cameron Johnson, 6 from Prince, and then 0 from uh, Royce Neal, who wasn't in the rotation. Prince kind of took over. Your opinion about the Wolves? Uh, I'm honestly, a lot of people are saying the Wolves overpaid. Maybe down the line, it'll look like a terrible trade, but I mean, bro, credit to the Wolves going for it, man. I mean, we saw how excited the Wolves got over winning a play-in tournament. So they are desperate for some wins. I'm excited for Minnesota. I'm glad they made that trade. But all right, let's see what we get in the play-in tournament. Let's see what we get in the play-in tournament. We get the Charlotte Hornets. So we made a trade with them earlier in the video, um, which we gave them Russell Westbrook. They obviously decided not to keep him, but we did take Gordon Hayward off their hands. So I guess we kind of helped them out in that way. So... Do a Mavs rebuild? Uh, we definitely can, for sure. Uh, soon. Victor will be 2023 pick unless something happens to him. Yeah, which is why we drafted or we moved up and drafted him. But, okay, let's see if we can beat the Hornets. Game 1, 1-0 one start, 25 from Vincent, 23 from Bridges. I mean, I think we have a good roster, and I really think we have a good chance of winning a championship. We've done a great job, boys. We swept the Charlotte Hornets, so we took care of the Hornets. The metal drops 49 and still loses. That's not a good look. All right, now we get the Toronto Raptors. So, Toronto Raptors have Fred VanVleet. Gary Trent Jr., OG, Scotty Barnes, Siaka Machua. So this is a good Raptors team. So I'm a little intimidated by them, not going to lie. But I think we have a good team in Brooklyn as well. So we'll see. We'll see. Game one. Wait, which I think that wasn't something they needed. I mean, they were already a playoff team, and now they are a playoff team potential to with a potential toxic contract. I know Rudy Gobert is like some people don't think he's that good, but Rudy Gobert is at least a top 30 player in the NBA. I think he's going to help them out tremendously. Obviously, it remains to be seen. We'll see what happens when the playoffs start and stuff like that. But I, I like the Timberwolves going for it, in my opinion. I could see why some people have the opinion that it wasn't, you know, a good one. But do you think LaMelo is MVP caliber? Yeah, for sure. I, I can't say he's not. All right. So we go. We dropped game one. We do even it up, though. They're up two to one. Toronto might give us some problems here, man. They're up two to one. Toronto's giving us some issues here. Let's run an eight-man rotation. It looks like Cameron Johnson is kind of killing us right now. 
So let's throw Cameron Johnson out of rotation, I guess. I don't know what his problem is. But we'll run it back. Game four, Simcast, I guess. We'll Simcast this game four because I don't want to go down three to one. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. Um, winning this one pretty goodly, pretty nice so far. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited to see Minnesota this season. I'm, I'm happy they went for it, man. I got to give them credit. So we win game four. We win game five. And we won game six. So we're in the Eastern Conference Finals, boys. Now we can play the Atlanta Hawks. I think he's a top three defender in the league, but there he has no, but there's no need of trading all that future for him. Yeah, you're right, Javier, in a way. They may be, like I said, the trade was a lot more than we expected it to be, uh, obviously. No one, no one thought uh, that, no one thought that Gobert was going to go for that much. No one thought Gobert was going for that much, but... He said goodly. I know. I I said I know I said that word and I was like, why did I say that? It's not even a freaking word. Uh that's goodly. Yeah, you called me out. Got you got me bad. How's baby crush been? He's been great, man. Uh he started waving today. It was the cutest thing. So um uh he's uh you know a developing child. So he's been awesome. A developing baby, I guess you can say. He's getting big though. It's been sad. Game one against Atlanta. We lose. We drop game one to Trey Young, John Collins, and Murray. Game two, we even it up. Okay, 20 and then 22 from Mikel Bridges. Game three, we win. Game four, we win. And we beat them in six, maybe? Yes, we're in the NBA Finals. We get to play the Denver Nuggets. If you want to see how Rudy is uh, play, watch him play against Victor on YouTube, I need to watch that, Demigod. Or Demigod. You have a child. How old are you? I am 23 years old. 23. 23 years young, I should say. 10-year Spurs rebuild. Hawks had a nice offseason too. They did. And I wonder if they're done. I wonder if they're done. Because John Collins has been thrown in trade rumors forever. Not the Joker. We can play Jokic, man. So Jokic versus Webb and Yama. I'm actually curious to see how this is going to go. Game one. Let's see if Webb and Yama is able to clamp up. Uh, he had 22 on Webb and Yama. Game two. We even it up. We even it up. Cam Thomas dropped 26. Mikael Bridges 23. Shea 25. And... Jokic got locked up. I guess he didn't take that many shots. He was still efficient. He didn't take many shots, though. Game three, we're down two to one. Okay. Game four, we evened it up. That was uh, definitely concerning. But uh, game five is on the way. So here we go for game five in Brooklyn. I mean, this is to win a championship right here. Let's, uh, let's see if we can win the championship. Uh, don't worry about sending a link in the chat because YouTube is just going to block it. So don't send a link in the chat. It's not even going to... I can find it myself, uh, but I do appreciate the help. I just It's just going to get blocked in chat. So how do you get the upgraded, updated roster for my league with the free agency signings? You go. You use 2K share scenarios, but I can't promise you they always work. 2K has a problem with them crashing. We do lose game five. Not good. So we're going to need this game six victory pretty badly here. And push this back to Brooklyn. Hopefully we could do that. I thought for sure we had a championship here, but bro, we might low key lose. Oh, wait, I think we got it. Wait, can we keep this lead? I think we got it. Okay, so we're, we're gonna beat them in seven. 135 to 118, Shea. Thir 33 from Shea, 27 from Ben Simmons. I'm gonna go have a great day, Crush. What a, uh, have a good day, Joe Mama. Have a good day, man. Webin Yama versus Gobert. Oh, it was bad. Embarrassing. Wait, so, okay, I got to watch it. You guys are saying some things. Wait, so, did Gobert clamp up Webin Yama or something? Game 7 for championship, boys. This is to win a championship for Brooklyn. Let's see if we do it. Game 7. We need this victory very, very badly. And 2K is about to make me drop this game 7. Are we really about to drop this game 7, bro? We're down 20. Do you think I could come back on this? Ben Simmons, five years Nets. Re you know what? Do you think I could? Uh, maybe I'm going to try to come back. I don't know if that's going to be possible. But hey, your boy can try, right? Your boy can try. I'm pretty bad at 2K, so don't judge me. But I'm going to come out here and try to come back. Because I don't really want to go in. Well, I guess I could go another year. Actually, I might not be able to now that I jumped in. My file is probably about to crash. We'll see if it does. Uh, Jamal Murray's trying to get around me. And Oh, wait. Oh, I thought I had. I thought I got the stop there. All right, this court is low-key nice, but... All right, we have Vic... I've never played with Webb and Yama. I mean, he's obviously a created character, but still. Give me the foul. Nope, no and one. You're down 30? Oh, I'm down 30, not 20. You're right. Okay. <laughs> I can't do math. My bad. I don't know why I jumped in then. Wait, I can maybe... 
exit this and we could restart this game seven actually no we'll probably run it back another year and i foul uh do we just do we call it good send it in i bro i don't 2k low-key might crash here so there's no promises we go back there's really no promises we go back this game might crash here it might not load me back in we'll see oh it loaded me back that's a miracle that's a miracle okay it actually loaded me back so we lose in seven we'll run it back another year then we're running back i honestly thought i was gonna crash because the last file i used once i jumped into the game there was no coming back whatsoever sounds good the number one overall pick i'm not worried about any draft picks i wrote low-key just want to run back the same rotation rotation for sure staff signing um let's get a perimeter defensive coach just get some real quick i'm not too focused on this op if i can find one damn is there one now here dave yeager not even gonna accept it guard guru Bro, I really wish 2K would go back to... Uh, I know I say this uh, in some videos, but 2K just needs to go back to training camps. This coaching staff thing is so annoying. I got to freaking offer five people. I mean, yeah, it's cool, I guess. But, I mean, it feels like... I don't know how much value it really brings. Maybe it does. Maybe it does a lot, and I just don't realize it. Per defensive coach, we couldn't get uh, Dave Yeager, so could Cardinal be... Yeah, there we go. Got Cardinal. All right. Going straight to player options. And uh, we'll see. Player options, we got... Everybody coming back. Qualifying offers. David Duke Jr. And then free agency. I don't think we have any crazy free agents to worry about. Royce O'Neal, Torian Prince. And then, uh, well, we low-key could just let one of the young guys crack the rotation. Uh, wait, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, eight, nine. Well, eight. If I can. Sp okay, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I do need to resign one of those guys, I think. Well. Or sign a different player. We'll see. What can I get out here? Dawn Wright, Trey Mann for a shooting guard spot. Who's our backup shooting guard right now? Oh, Taylor and Horton Tucker. Well, I guess I can move THC to small forward. Yeah, give me some Trey Mann. Give me Trey Mann. I'll get Trey Mann. Never mind, he goes to Spurs. Damn, okay. Uh, Malik Beasley. I actually like the idea of Malik Beasley coming over here. Malik Beasley. And then Trace Jackson Davis gets some minutes at the power forward spot. Move THC to small forward. Yeah, I'm going to run that. We're going to run that. One more year. We're going to run this one more year. Training camps are in current gen, I think. Uh, are they? They're not in next gen. It's unfortunate. Or in uh, new gen. I don't know what to call it anymore. Surprised TJ Warren went to Brooklyn? I am a little surprised, but I mean, it looks like the Nets, uh, they said today the Nets are operating under the assumption that Kevin Durant and Kyrie will be back. So guess that's the game plan. So this is going to be a rotation for another year. God, my allergies are kicking in. Uh, Shea, Cameron Thomas, Mikael Bridges, Ben Simmons, Victor Webb, and Yama develops uh, really nicely. THT, Daron Sharp, Barker Kessler, and then Trace Jackson Davis. Proficiency, four-star printer centric. Let's run it, and let's go see if we win a championship this year. Or we could, we're we not even going to make the playoffs. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We're not even going to make the playoffs. Who knows? Yo, honestly, boys, uh, thank you for the people that have been hanging out with me. 200 people uh, have been in here like almost the whole time, so thank you guys so much for that. You guys support lately has been amazing man i feel like i feel on top of the world right now well not on top of the world i would say but it's a really good feeling the sport you guys have been showing me lately i'm a it's been very very exciting so thank you guys for that kd might resign well kd's already under contract for four years so it's just a matter of him staying i guess or the nets not trading him so Anyone seen anything on Sexton? I have not. I've not seen anything on Colin Sexton. I really haven't. I mean, the one, th the only two things I've heard on Sexton is him getting in Cleveland or the Mavericks getting him. So, don't know how true those two things are, but I do remember Bubble Warren. I really wanted my Blazers to get TJ Warren, but the Nets got him instead. So, shout out to Brooklyn. Are the Raptors good? Yes. I love what the Raptors are doing. They remind me of the Clippers where they have a bunch of switchable wings, which is a W. They sign Otto Porter. Thaddeus Young is back. A lot of 6'8 players, which is where kind of the NBA is going, it feels like. When you can go small ball and switch every position, you could be in line for a really good year. So far, this year hasn't been going so great. You should keep the stream on for the Thunder and Jazz game. Uh, Not a bad idea, but I can't show it. I don't know how many people are really interested in watching the game tonight. I mean, it's just a summer league game, so... Uh, it's a good idea, but I probably won't. I know. That sounds cool, but I couldn't show the game anyway. I would get copyrighted so quickly. So, bro, we low-key might be a playing tournament team this year, which is kind of crazy in my opinion. But it might be where we're at.
Warriors ain't repeating. Okay, so we got Luka winning MVP. Cody Kelly, Scoot Anderson on the Pistons. So they got a nice young guard squad over there. All right, so we got the four seed in the East. Um, and we get to play Cleveland in round one. I have no expectations this year. Hopefully, we don't lose early on. But I wouldn't be surprised if we just get upset in round one, to be honest with you. So many current round against Cleveland and bro. <laughs> Bro, no freaking way. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's how it's going to end. That is how it's going to end. Well, that's how I'm going to end this rebuild. That sucks, man. That sucks so badly. That sucks so badly. I mean, the the roster we put together was really good though. I'm I love this roster. All right, I get it. No, don't don't say Fs anymore. I get it. You guys want me to stream or be live for the game. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going anywhere just yet. We still got like 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys still a little bit longer for sure. Uh, yeah, this was not ideal. What channel is the Summer League game on? I Okay, I'm going to find that out for you guys here in a second. And I'm going to... Okay. I'm going to go full cam. And uh, so we lost. I will take my L. And then I'm going to do a couple things. Well, I'm going to show you guys. Well, I'm going to go look at what the game, what channel the game's on real quick. And then I'll show you some things you can do in 2K to get your roster updated if some of you are interested in that. ESPN 206. So everyone's saying it's on ESPN tonight, which makes sense. I figured it would be. Uh, so Summer League. Yeah, it looks like it might be on ESPN tonight. Just checking real quick. Uh, yes, that's ESPN too. Yeah, ESPN. It's on ESPN tonight. So it's going to be on ESPN tonight. All right, boys. So ESPN is where the Thunder and Jazz game is on tonight. Right now, the Grizzlies are on, actually. So I don't know how Jake LaRavia is doing, if he's playing or not. We'll see if he's playing or not. Uh, is he playing right now? The game is actually almost over. Jake LaRavia has 13. He is playing. And then Kenny Chandler did not play, it looks like. All right, wait, he did. I'm stupid. He's right there. Philadelphia, Jane Springer played. All right. How many of you are interested on how... I've done tutorials on this before, but how many of you are interested in getting an updated roster that you want in 2K? I'll try to help you guys out as much as possible while I'm live if you guys need help with that. Me, me. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys this real quick. All right, so basically, this won't be the same direction that I did. But basically, I downloaded a 2K share scenario, and I've... Uh, it should be same thing. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go to my NBA, and you're going to go... So this is the one I use right now, and I can't... I would upload it to the 2K share scenarios, but last time I did that, 2K crashes. LeBron Lord brings up a good point. For some reason, some of the files crash. So you have to... So 2K share scenarios is where you go. And then let's click this slot. And then so, yeah. So basically I had one. So this is the one I was using for a while. And I uploaded it three times. As you can see, I uploaded this one three times for you guys. I did it. I was like, damn, this is going to be cool. I can update it and I can give you guys this file. So I, I downloaded it or I kept, you know, making edits to it. And now it doesn't work. It crashes every time. It crashes every time. It's annoying. So... Now, the best thing I can suggest is you just have to find somebody that's not capping on the file and you got to just click one of these and uh, let's see if I can find one. I mean, see, like these are just so like, th let's say this guy says, thanks, bro. NBA today. This guy says realistic ratings, tendency settings and rookie faces. So we'll try triple FM here. Basically, this is what you do. This is what you do. This is how you get updated rosters because uh, 2K next year doesn't have to start today. So boom. This one, and then we can take a look at the draft order real quick. Paulo, Chet Holmgren, Jabari. So all this looks right for the most part. Looks like Jalen Williams to the Thunder, Usman Dang. So yeah, this all looks correct. So yeah, that's what you basically have to do. You kind of have to just go through the pain of finding a roster that's not, you know, not does that have that has everything fixed. This one actually doesn't look too bad at all. Jaden Hardy. It says he's drafted the Kings, but I can tell he has a Mavericks jersey on, so it looks like they fixed that. And then uh, we could check transaction report and see what they've done with these. So 
Trailblazers, they got him back, which I think he ends up being a free agent. So Aldridge at Brent Forbes is there. Uh, what about trades? Do they have trades? Uh, tr let's do trades. Let's see what trades they have in here. Josh Minot, KCP, Rudy Gobert trades in here. So yeah, man, that's basically what you have to do. You have to kind of just download a 2K share scenario. And that's pretty much it. TJ Warren on the roster. And they don't have TJ Warren on here. So yeah, unfortunately. And then one thing you can do once you get that 2K share scenario is turn off auto save. And then you have to hope the file works basically. That's what basically what you have to do. But no, but how does it show trades as well? What do you mean? Uh, transaction report is where you look. Uh, where you look at the trades and see if the trades were made. So they got Brogdon in here. They got the Kevin Herter trade. They got the Galinari. Well, they got the Galinari trade in here. Rose O'Neal trade. So it looks like this one isn't terrible. I've seen some worse ones. Uh, see, I like the one I use currently, so I'm not obviously going to use this one. So uh, the one I use, I downloaded it, and I've been making the changes myself, basically. So let me make sure I delete the right one. Okay, so this is the one I use, obviously, and I've been updating it as much as possible. Basically, what I do is I have this is the file I use every day. I have auto save off, right? I have auto save off. But when I say it just kicks me. Yeah, I know some some of them do not work. Some of them do not work. They don't. I know it sucks. I don't know why it, it is. It's how it works. I don't know why 2k. Some of them don't work. This one has been working for me. So yeah, basically. And then I have all the transactions in here. There's a couple things I actually need to fix. So one thing we needed to fix, well, which we could fix these right now. And I really wish I could share this to you guys, but I do not want to risk this glitching again because last time I shared my file, it literally just went kaboom. Like it just stopped working. So uh, I'm going to move Garland to, or I'm going to move his contract because I need to fix that. So contract. So once there's something that happens, uh, so I don't have this uploaded to the file, unfortunately. So let's do that. And then you're sick. Well, it was like a four. I don't even know how many years of extension it was, but so Garland's got his extension now. And then the other trade I did not do that I need to do is the Suns traded for, what was it? Who did they get again? Who did they get that guy from? Alvin, it is quite annoying that 2K and can't fix their own thing. Uh, wait, boys, scale me out. What, who, what center did the Suns trade for? I can't, for, I can't remember. J Jock Londale. Okay. What team is he on? I don't even know. I'm a, I guess I'm a casual. Landale? I forget. Was he from the... Wait, I'm not going to guess. I don't remember what team he was on. Landale is on the... Is he a free agent? Oh, he's a free agent. Jock Landale. I guess I could just sign up for the Suns. I'll just offer him for the Suns. Okay. So what I do when that is all said and done, uh, I just... When I have everything I want uh, you know, to fix, I click save and I come back to it. So right now for free agency, I have... Obviously, so for a free agency, I have some pinning free agents right now. So let's say like the 76 for instance, they haven't signed anybody. Well, I guess I could just show you guys. So like the Bucks resigned Serge Ibaka. So uh, basically, I just and then Sexton doesn't have a contract yet. Connington, I need to put up back on the Bucks. I guess. I guess he hasn't signed back. I don't know why that is. I, there's a couple things I need to fix. It's not perfect by any means, but yeah, unfortunately, boys, this is what you have to do, man. Uh, it is what it is. Again, I, I was sharing mine constantly and I was going to let you guys use it, but it, unfortunately, the one that uh, I would use just kept crashing. So the one I was using, so this is obviously what you guys are talking about. So let me share this one or let me show you guys this one. So this is the one I was using. I obviously have stopped using it because it does not work. So I was uh, doing a couple things. So if I wait, let, I'm curious to see if this is going to actually... Let's go to free agency. So literally just me simply like literally if I do this, let me sign Jalen Brunson to his deal right on the Knicks. And then if I literally just simply move Jalen Brunson to guard on this on this roster, it crashes. Watch this. Watch this. Watch me do this. Watch this. It used to. I'm going to see if it crashes. Watch what happens. Point guard confirm about to crash. It's frozen. It's frozen. This is what we deal with in 2K. It crashes. Watch. It's It's gone. It crashes. It's literally the most annoying thing in the world. This is the file I was using until I kept uploading it to 2K share scenarios and it stopped working. It literally stopped working. So I've stopped uploading my thing to 2K share scenarios. So I don't have a certain file for you guys to download, unfortunately. I really wish I did. I really wish I could keep sharing mine and then like it would be 
like you guys could just use the one i've been using it's just 2k man it just sucks man but yeah the basically the way you get uh roster updated rosters is 2k share scenarios that's how you get to that's how you get uh rosters and it's unfortunate 2k is like this but that's what it is man so you could try some of these like this guy says he has it updated so you could try this one mellow hype new york c7 uh so yeah but the one you guys are probably experiencing the most so let me download this file again the thing i'm not even gonna sign anybody watch i'll just go to next season and this will not this for this this file someone told me there was a workaround this file used to not go past december 10th this one does not go past december 10th for some reason once you go past december 10th it crashes and then i had another file that wouldn't go past february 11th so i don't know man it's just too you know madden crashes all the time too it's just irritating man too why can't 2k give us a product that works i someone said it doesn't happen on ps5 i don't know if they were lying or not but on two watch, watch this is about to crash once we get to december 10th this is gonna freeze it's gonna crash watch 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 this so i had to disband this file i had to totally go away from it december 10th december 11th it's about to crash it's frozen won't let me simulate it's about to crash this game is 2k sucks man it, it literally is so annoying i don't know why it does that that's crazy bro that's that's the stuff we deal with on 2k that's the stuff we deal with so unfortunate bro but yeah man unfortunately the only thing i can suggest is just load 2k share scenarios as you just find the one you like the most and then you turn off auto save and oh make sure it actually works make sure it actually works because some files will work some won't and that's just what we have to deal with on 2k it's quite annoying but man it is what it is bro so it's unfortunate but that's how it is man so it just sucks man 2k that's just how it's been on uh, next gen even when i trade it still kicks me that's just unfortunate do you th do i think patrick baldwin's is still for the worst uh wasn't he supposed to be really good and then like things didn't work out or something i don't know we'll see i don't know much about him so i can't sit here and say yes or no But that's my suggestion for the 2K share scenarios. You just have to find one you, you know, that you like. Hopefully 2K23, they fix things like that for us, my NBA guys. When you load share scenarios, do you have the sim before you load the file? I'm not sure what you mean, Maximania. When you load share scenarios, let me read this three times and see if I can understand it. Share scenarios, do you have to sim before you load the file? No, you don't have to sim. You don't have to sim. All you have to do is go to my NBA and then you can click 2K share scenarios and just click a certain slot and then uh this will whatever you find like this guy mellow hype will have you know he will oh i guess this guy doesn't have you so don't download this one because there's more moves to be made yeah this guy well i guess he has jalen brunson on the roster i'll give him that maybe he's continuing to update it i guess i mean this one starts in the regular season obviously you don't want that you want to start in the off season because there's more things he's saying you have to test it i would test it so you don't waste your time that's what i would do the one you download i would test it just in case so you don't waste your time and if it works turn off auto save and make the moves yourself man that's all you got to do uh so let's delete that one and then so for me when i know there's going to be some more transactions what i do is i am obviously so you go to options settings team selection and i'm obviously using every team right now because every team can still make a move right every every team can still make a move so when a team makes a move uh you're just gonna you see at the top that how it's scrolling through you just scroll through the teams you make that move for the team and then turn you know auto saves off you and then you save it so this is what i do every day and then when i want to do a rebuild on one team i'm recording i just you know filter out all this and then boom 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 and then let's say i'm doing a blazer rebuild and now i'm the blazer so that's how you do it man that's the best i can do do some start in the off season yes they do maxi mania you just have to figure out which one works best i'm sorry that I'm sorry that it, I again I wish I could I punch my mic I wish I could just load my file for you guys and you guys could just download it and it should be almost close to perfect may, may not be perfect but I like I said man I was trying to do that and that one I just showed you guys once I kept uploading it to the 2k share scenarios eventually stopped working so I just can't do it anymore sucks 2k doesn't try fixing start today yeah man it sucks bro but boys I think I'm actually 
I think I'm going to head out. I'm going to go watch uh, the Summer League game. It was fun hanging out with you guys. We're going to do this at least once a week, I think. I don't know what it's like on, uh, you know, PS4 and Xbox One and stuff. So, unfortunately, I can't help you. I do not buy 2K on those on those uh, consoles. But, hey, man, it's been fun. Uh, it's been fun hanging out with y'all boys. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go watch the game. I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't want, I don't really want to sit here and stream the game. I don't feel like many people be interested in that. But I just wanted to stream the rebuild. I'm going to go relax on my couch and watch the game. So I know, Superman, you wanted to, you know, kind of have a watch party. But uh, I just want to kind of relax and watch it. I hope you can understand. But all right, boys, drop a like before you head out. But thank you. I'm sorry. I'm not. I can't stream the game. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boys. I, I just want to go lay down and watch it. Uh, but we'll be back tomorrow with another rebuild in the morning. I don't know what team I'm doing yet, but we will figure it out. So thank you guys for watching. Head, uh, drop a like before you head out. I'll be back tomorrow. And hopefully I help some of you guys. But uh, definitely plan on this being like once a week thing for sure. Plan on, this, plan on this being once a week. We just did a jazz one, so we'll probably do something else. But thank you guys, man. This is Crushables. Heading out. Saying peace.